Oh, look at this guy. What a chunker. I'm gonna name him Bob and he is officially my best friend. Ooh, look, a killer whale. Why did they call them that? Oh my god, no. Oh, not Bob. Oh, he was so young and chunky. Oh, god. Oh, god. Remember the blue? This underwater experience became a staple for many of us as an introduction to VR. Virtual Arctic Expedition follows in those footsteps, but comes equipped with a message. Climate change is going to fuck up more than just humanity. Relying on ease of use... Ahem. <clears throat> uh, ease, ease of use... Oh, come on, you stupid piece of... Okay, there we go. Relying on ease of use... Arctic Expedition allows the user to quickly venture beneath the ocean in order to see and learn about a variety of different animals native to that region. Arctic Expedition is an educational game first and foremost. We begin our journey in the 1950s, at the bottom of the Arctic Ocean, right next to a downed aircraft. During this time period, the seas are mostly unaffected by human influence, and the flora and fauna are living in a natural harmony. But don't worry, humanity is about to royally fuck that up. We step into a time machine of sorts, where our lovely narrator begins to describe the effects climate change has had on our oceans. We begin to project that information into the future, and how the melting ice caps and warmer waters will begin to affect the Arctic. Our time machine takes us to the 2100s, allowing us to notice these changes firsthand. The flora is noticeably larger, and suddenly we have predators from warmer waters making their way to the Arctic. Animals that once thrived are near extinction. Overall, the game is a compelling method of teaching the effects of climate change. It's always better to see it with our own eyes, even if it's just an approximation of the future in a VR headset. While the goal of the game is education, even those that believe the Earth is flat dumbass, can find some enjoyment here. The animals are nice, and the game provides you with two tools of interaction. A laser pointer that will give you substantially more information about whatever you pointed at, and a camera for taking these memories home with you. I wonder how much a picture of a beluga whale from 100 years in the future is worth. Hmm. There is no movement whatsoever, and this helps keep your attention on the animals instead of struggling to always be in the right place. While the blue amazed with colors and exceptional environments, Arctic Expedition is considerably more drab. The game strives for realistic graphics, but what that creates is just a dull blue haze around everything. I get it, you're under the ocean, but nothing pops or makes you gasp and wonder. It's a generic ocean environment and I would have loved to see more creativity here. The animals themselves look accurate, and you'll either squeal with joy at how cute they are or stare with wonder at their scale. But like the environment, nothing here really stands out as something you want everyone to gather around and see. The narrator has a nice calming voice that keeps you informed of what you're looking at and where to look next. Orcas are super predators. Some populations feed themselves with fishes, whereas others hunt marine mammals. The background music is subtle, but helps the game achieve a relaxing atmosphere that will keep even those terrified of the deep, dark places of the world nice and calm. I can't claim to know how accurate the animal sounds are, but they seem to be, and never took me out of the game, so yay! As a tool for education, this is an effective and entertaining method for learning the basics of climate change. As a game, there's really not much here to recommend. I feel like the blue does a better job at giving awe-inspiring moments and is a better introduction for VR. But if you have a scientist friend, who knows, maybe this will do the trick. The game currently costs $6 for about 15 minutes of content. I'd wait for a sale. 6 out of 10.